If you've ever stood over your garden during a dry spell, watching the leaves curl, the soil crack, and the life drain out of the ground, you know that drought is more than weather. It's a test, a test of patience, planning, and the strength of the soil beneath your feet. But what if I told you that more than 2,000 years ago, the ancient Maya developed a soil-building method so powerful that the earth they enriched is still fertile today? Not just surviving, but thriving, dark, rich, and alive. Around Central America and along parts of the Amazon, researchers have discovered immortal soils, soil that regenerates itself, holds water, and supports crops even under harsh conditions. Today, we're uncovering the method behind it, and gardeners like us can recreate it at home. Let's get into the Mayan secret, a soil-making approach that blends compost, charcoal, microbes, and organic matter into a nutrient-rich powerhouse that locks in fertility and moisture. This is your key to gardening resilience, even in drought. Archaeologists call this soil terra preta meaning dark earth, but this wasn't an accident, it was engineered. The Maya didn't just grow in soil, they built their soil. So, how does this matter to us gardeners today? Well, what they made has three irreplaceable powers. First, it stores nutrients instead of letting them wash away. Second, it teems with beneficial microorganisms. And third, it holds moisture for weeks, even in high heat. In essence, it creates a living, self-renewing soil ecosystem. This is exactly what we need when watering becomes scarce, fertilizers become expensive, and the climate becomes unpredictable. Why is regular compost not enough? Many gardeners love compost, I am definitely one of them, but compost alone breaks down too fast. One year you add compost and by the next year, it's gone. The nutrients leach out, the microbes fade, and the soil structure just collapses. The Maya solved this by adding carbon in the form of charcoal to the organic matter. Not ash, not burned chunks, biochar, a carbon sponge with tiny microscopic pockets. Biochar. The soil memory bank. Biochar acts like memory foam for soil. Whatever nutrients or microbes you add, it holds them in place instead of letting them disappear. They soaked it in compost tea, manure slurry, fermented plant juice, or even food scraps until it became a microbe-rich sponge ready to nourish the soil. How to make Mayan-style immortal soil at home. This method is simple, cheap, and, honestly, deeply rewarding. It's also something you can create slowly, one bucket at a time. So, you know, there's really no need to rush. Step 1. Create your charcoal or biochar. You can make biochar from twigs, corn cobs, coconut shells, dried branches, or really any natural wood that hasn't been treated. Burn it slowly with limited oxygen, so it turns to charcoal, not ash. You can do this in a metal drum or even dig a small pit. After that, just break the charcoal down into pea-sized pieces. Step 2. Charge the charcoal. Soak this charcoal in something alive and nutritious, like compost tea, diluted animal manure, liquid from soaked kitchen scraps, fermented plant juice, or, hey, even worm bin runoff is perfect. Let it sit for at least a week. Two weeks is better. A month is incredible. During this time, millions of bacteria take up residence inside the charcoal pockets. You are literally building a new microbial city. Step 3. Mix with organic matter. Combine your charged biochar with compost, leaves, grass clippings, kitchen scraps, banana stems, sugarcane bagasse, rice hulls, or really, any available organic material. Build it in layers, keep it moist, let it heat, mellow, and cool. This is where the soil comes alive. Step 4. Add it to your soil. Mix gently into the top 10 to 15 centimeters, about 4 to 6 inches. Don't bury it too deep since, well, microbes really need air to thrive. Within just a few weeks you'll notice some changes. Darker soil, longer moisture retention, faster growth response, more earthworms, and honestly, less watering needed. This is the moment your soil begins to remember fertility. Why does this work so powerfully in drought? 
Well, once charged and incorporated, biochar acts like a micro-reservoir. When you water, the biochar stores moisture and then releases it slowly over time. This is why terra preta fields even today remain fertile and moist in regions that are otherwise poor and dry. This soil system, well, it reduces plant stress, keeps roots hydrated longer, creates long-term fertility instead of just temporary feeding, and it builds soil year after year instead of depleting it. This is gardening with resilience, not dependency. When you create soil like this, you are not simply growing plants, you are reviving the earth, you're participating in a lineage of farmers who understood that soil is not something you take from, it's something you build. And here's the most beautiful part. Once biochar is in your soil, it stays there for hundreds to thousands of years. One good season of soil building can support many generations of growth. Your garden becomes richer every year instead of poorer. Your soil becomes immortal. Let's grow soil that outlives us. I want you to try this, not because it's historical, not because it's fascinating, but because it works. And honestly, your soil deserves the chance to become something extraordinary. So, just start with one bucket of biochar, one pile of compost, and, yeah, one small patch of garden. Then, just watch what happens. Your soil, honestly, will never be the same. If you found this guide helpful and, you know, want more deep, practical soil building wisdom, subscribe to Soil Sage Chronicles, share this article with a gardener friend, and help spread the knowledge that keeps soil alive and gardens thriving. We don't just grow plants here, we grow the earth itself.